Hello and welcome to another Roger 365 tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to add a schedule to a flow. This schedule will allow us to send auto reply messages to incoming conversations, and we can configure different messages depending on if the business is open or closed. We'll be using WhatsApp in our example, but the concept can be applied to other touch points as well. Start by logging into the Roger 365 admin portal. Select Dialog Handler from the left navigation bar and then select Schedule. Now select Add Schedule. Add a name for the schedule and select the appropriate time zone. Click the green icon to configure the schedule. Here you can configure a default weekly schedule to indicate when you are online. In this example, the online hours are from 8.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. After configuring the default weekly schedule, you can add exceptions for times when you know you will be offline or closed. These are unique, one-time events, but you may also configure reoccurring offline events, such as holidays. That's all there is to configuring a schedule. Now we need to add it to the flow. Choose Flowchart Designer from the left navigation bar. Click the blue Edit icon of the flow to configure it. Create some extra space by dragging some components to the lower area. Then delete the path line after the green root node. Drag the Schedule component from the Components list into the flow area and create a connection between the root node and the Schedule component. Click the Schedule component, Select the schedule that we created from the list on the right, then click the Edit Mappings button. Here we need to create and assign a variable. Choose Add Variable Bool from the list, then click the Add Variable button. Give the variable a descriptive name and Boolean as the data type. Click Save, select the new variable from the drop-down list, then click Save again. Now drag an IF component to the flow area and connect it to the schedule. Under Node Properties, click Statement and enter the name of the variable that we created. Note that the variable name here is case sensitive. Now add two Send Message To components below the IF component. One will send a greeting message when the schedule is open, and the other will provide the appropriate information when the schedule is closed. Select the first Send Message To component and change the name. Keep in mind that all flow components must have a unique name, and that short and descriptive names are always best. Now click Message and fill in the text that you would like to send when your schedule is open. In the Touch Point drop-down, select the touch point for this message. In our example, we'll choose WhatsApp Roger 365. Now we'll do the same for messages to send when the schedule is closed. Change the name, enter the message to send, then select the touch point. Now we'll connect the IF component to the send message components. For the open message, we set the link property to true, and for the closed message, we set the link property to false. Finally, we connect both send message components to the next step in the flow. The result of this configuration is that we can automatically reply to incoming WhatsApp messages with an appropriate response both inside and outside of business hours.